Hello and welcome to yet another custom map for Minecraft 1.12.2 It's made by, and I need to do this, the Figwam Maper He's the guy standing over there He's also put in a resource pack automatically I like it when they do that and I like what I see It looks nice Now, there is not much here um, except for a bed, you can only sleep at night, okay? Uh, so, um, yeah, now there is a thing you need to know because this is called evidence case and I am looking for maps that is uh, detective stories and equals and the reason for that is that me and Bongo we did a vanilla map for the vanilla challenge called Who Shot Sam? which was a very elaborate, uh, a very tough map to make and it was uh, even harder to play. Might actually do that, I will see that later. But it was very good. Bongo did all the redstone and most of the build. I think I did a church, <laughs> but I was sick so it was, it was okay. But I did all the books, all the story and all the things. So as soon as I got up and did the story, he made the build for that story bit. He didn't read a book, he didn't read the story, he didn't bother. Because he was having so much work with just doing all the redstone. Now, we did a very, very good map. I must say, it's one of the best. So what I'm looking for, if you can do that in vanilla, can you do it with command blocks? Can you do it with uh, um, cheating on and, and creative and all that? Because in vanilla you can't do that. You have to be very th thoughtful about what you do and how you do it. So this is one of the things that I'm looking for. So is Evidence Case going to be a good who shot Sam or who done it? Because it's always fun to do them. So there you have the background. Now this guy I mean, he's already impressed me <laughs> with this. Let's see if I can just go up and... Hello! I can't speak to you. Nothing. Okay, he's a piggy. Okay. Now, we don't know and the clock is actually rather good. Okay. Uh, advancement made. New case. Game mode 2, adventure. We are in adventure mode. Do not kill mobs. Sorry. Um, the Fig Vam Maper. Sound of mobs 10%, less than 10%. Well, I'd rather not. Um, I got a pipe, which seems to be indicate that I am Sherlock Holmes. See? Um, do not kill mobs. Hello, is this a cake? Talk to Dr. Zero. Yes, but this is a fisherman. So Dr. Zero is... Okay, I can't get there. I need to find Dr. Zero. Here's a black wall. Um, any Dr. Zero around? Uh, I can't get out so this guy that looks like a doctor oh 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 um, oh I'm so I'm so bad at this because you have to go and block placed good morning mr. Halbury good morning dr. Zero what do the morning papers write in the newspapers everything is calm, but in fact crime is thriving. You have received a new letter from Mr. Lucas Morin. He asks us to investigate... Oh, so this is um, Dr. Watson. He asks us to investigate um, the case of the murder of Sir Hugo Bummington. He was found dead in the garden of his estate. So, after a cup of morning tea, we will immediately go to the Bummington Manor. So, you just push that one. Th this is... 
Um, this is one of the things that I don't like with this. You just sit, read, push a, a link and then you don't do much. Uh, you can just stand still and push these links. So, there we are. Now we are here. Now we should talk to Dr. Morin. Um, and I'm not allowed to go and do anything. Uh, that seems to be someone else. There we have him. I need to be close. So uh, this one called does. So you do this and then we get a lot of text. Oh, Mr. Holbury, it's good to that. It's good that you came. I already thought that. Give up the case. I haven't even got it yet. My name is Lucas Morin. I'm the local doctor, and I'm so Hugo's friend. Can you please just stop this going around? Because I can't read as fast as you just did. Ah, uh, we have to wait. Till it stop because this is why I use books because then you can just read it in your own pace I can't get up to this there is a lot of things okay so now it takes up oh, there now we can get back again I, I really don't like this system I really don't like it now let's see uh, tell us about the incident did you find the dead Sir Hugh Hugo. No, he was found by the gardener Nedward. Hmm. He has served for a long time at the estate Bummington. Who else lives on the estate Bummington? Do you need to say the estate every time? I mean, you just say Bummington, right? The chef and wife of Mr. Hugo still live in the, in the estate. Doctor, tell me. Did so you will leave a bequest. That's not really what I would ask, would it? Hmm, well his condition was estimate his condition was estimated at a dollar euro one million dollar euro. The estate was divided between his wife, brother, servants, cook and gardener. Other part another part was written on me and Mr Frank Sildon. <laughs> and who is Mr. Frank? No, you mean Mr. Thildon. Already here I'm having sensing a bit of a problem. Friend of Mr. Hugo, they served together. Hugo quickly left. Now suddenly he's not Sir Hugo, suddenly he's just Hugo. And he's not Mr. Frank, he's just Frank. Uh, raised to the uh, rank of colonel. Now he's retired. No, he retired. He's retired. There's a lot of spelling errors here, right? And sits down on his farm. Now, we don't need to do that. If necessary, I will give him the address. Thank you. And you do not know the address of Sir Hugo's brother. I know he lives in T Street. Strait. Strait. T Strait. His name is Thomas Bummington. Younger. Halbury. Oh, Halbry, okay. They're changing it. There is not a trace of violence on the corpse. How was he killed? I can assume that it was poisoning. As a doctor, I do not see such ghosts for the first time. Thank you for helping with the investigation, Dr. Mer Morin. Uh, Halbry, I seem to have found playing cards. Hmm. Maybe so Hugo was going to the park to play with someone in the cards. <laughs> there is something going wrong here. Now I guess that we should somehow connect these cards with anything. There's poison. There are people who are going to be... Let's go to the manor house. Tasks. Talk with the gardener. Talk with the cook. There was a chef. Uh, talk with mice. <laughs> Bummington. Find the evidence in Dr. Bummington's room. After completing, go to the gate. 
Um, yeah, well, the build is actually pretty good, so I'm not into that yet. Papers, probably. Uh, there, here's the gardener. So we get close to him, press T, and then it starts again. Good afternoon, I'm just to Halbri. I'm investigating the case of the murder. Tell me. Uh, so I love going to the garden and reading a newspaper. By the way, my name is Nedward Green. I found some lying by the pond. It was creepy. Might need a playing card. It is likely that he wanted to meet someone from his friends. He sometimes liked to play cards with them. He took it very seriously. I noted that he was very prepared for this and often used his new perfume. Now, guys don't really use perfumes as much. Really. The cook, can I open a door here? Because we are in adventure mode. <laughs> that old S Super Mario th Donkey Kong thingy. Yeah, I'm looking in, looking round, looking round. Yeah, there's some stairways. Now, this was a cool looking stairway. <laughs> okay. Now, the cook should be in the cook's office. And it's not over here. No. Where's the cook's office? Here, perhaps? Well, somewhere around here. Ah, talk to the cook. Or chef, or whatever. There lies a sword, and there's... Oh, there's a chest! We need to check the chest. Come on. Yes! Just as we knew. Talk to the cook. Now, she's the one that should put po poisoning stuff. My na oh, Okay, it's not the cook any longer, it's the chef. Okay, my name is Benjamin Rogmid. Dimgor... Hold it! Ho hold it! I have... I've been working in the Bummington estate for a long time. Not the estate Bummington, okay. So, yes, I know, I shouldn't be doing that. So, you can love my dishes, and what else can you tell me? What did he... I don't... Do not know. Why don't you use don't? Hmm. Affairs, but I know that he'd often like to invite Colonel Old Thildon and Dr. Maureen, his best friends, often came here. He played cards with them. Mr. Maureen did not much like this occupation, but Mr. Thildon was an avid player, so Hugo did not treat us as servants, but as friends. Therefore, he often invited me to play with him. Uh, Rog Mood, Rog Mid, what's with the packets in your pocket? It's rat poison. I took it from our gardener, Nedward Green. I molested the rats. These creatures often steal food from the... Thank you for helping. Now we're probably looking at the poison. So now I got the poison, I suspect. Rat poisoning, yes. Talk to Miss Missies. <laughs> Sorry, but it, it totally undermines the whole thing when you have a whole bunch of strange things. Now this is oh oh this might be my sis. Looks like a witch to me, but okay. Talk to the Scarlet. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I'm just here and I'm investigating. I understand that you are his wife. You're right, Mr. Helbry. I still not can believe that the death all this horror. By the way, my name is Scarlet. <laughs> you usually don't bother with that. Uh, I became very forgetful. Bummington, did you notice anything strange about your husband? Do you know? Yes, he was very stressful. He worked a lot with his documents and was often angry, but he never told me anything. That's it. That wasn't much. Inspect the table. Yes, let's do that. 
Uh, what a strange message. Beware soon you will die. The, the letters of these words are clearly cut from the newspaper. Okay. Inspect the table. Paper. Ink sack. Paper. Inspect the shelves. Okay. This is always cool. These spirits seem suspicious to me. Miss <laughs> Mrs. You and your husband use the same perfume? Yes. Could you give me your sense during the investigation? Yes. Two banks of spirits clearly differ from the, each other. We must provide their samples for research to Dr. Zero. Okay. Have I done everything because I would love to see that these are filled in Dr. Pummington's room. Now we need to open each and every single forking door. Yes I know but we need to do it. And the fact that they're not using them is Okay, so now I should go to the gate. Let's see if we can find that. That should be the gate, right? And I'm at the gate. Go to the headquarters. Uh, go to Brother Bummington. Go to Sildon's farm. I want to give you stuff. Oh, what's this? Choose a killer? Oh, no, no, no. I'm nowhere near. Uh, but you should fix this. <laughs> now he's a farmer. <laughs> this is, this is fun. <laughs> I have a lot of sh crap in my, let's see. Suspicious perfume, perfume. Okay. Okay, so you, um, no, you're, not, you're not telling me that you think that we could use perfume as poison. We have rat poison and that is too obvious even for me. At least when I'm reading Agatha Christie, <laughs> that is too obvious for me. Right, right, right. Nah, mm, yeah. Go to Brother Bummington. Go to Thildon's farm. Now these two are sort of the main main problems, but I don't think so. You should actually think about the doctor too, because he's also playing cards. The doctors also need him a lot of things like the poison. He can actually do stuff with perfume, so the doctor is actually the one that I would choose at this point as a sus main suspect. But we are going to drop it here. I'm going to choose one or two of these and then we'll get back as suspect and take the other one. And I will start with that one. I think so. So um, <laughs> let's see. Let's bring out the pipe. Yes, no, no, big one. I could probably have opium in this one. <laughs> I guess. Nevertheless, thank you for watching. I'll be back next week with the rest, I hope. Bye.